A gender bender, one who gender fucks, is a person who disrupts or bends expected gender roles. Gender bending is sometimes a form of social activism undertaken to destroy rigid gender roles or defy sex role stereotypes, notably in cases where the gender bender finds these roles oppressive. In the last episode of our four-part series, we meet Lacey McFadden, the only female drag queen in the Housewives of Birmingham. I do drag because I like love to dress up and I like to be seen as someone who supports like gay rights and stuff like that. So that's the only thing that I want to portray that I'm not a bitch, basically. <laughs> We wanted to find out more about the person behind the elaborate makeup, glitter and beautiful designs. So we went to catch her off guard in her place of work. I'm a female drag queen. I live in Birmingham. I'm 23 years old. Um, I also do like freelance work. I work in a salon, in a marketing manager at a salon. Um, I do freelance photography, freelance drag and any other projects I can get involved in. I see drag as just a creative, a creative form. I think there's a lot of history with it being um, predominantly male. I think as everything evolves, drag has evolved and it's kept up with the times and women get involved with it just as much as men. And at 23 years old, having only been in the industry for just over a year, Lacey is the most recognised female drag queen in the West Midlands. When I first started to do drag, it was my inspiration for a look was, it was more like rigid, so I'd pick, like I'd be a fairy or I'd be like a, a, I don't know, a giraffe or something like that or deer. And now it's become a lot more abstract, all it takes is a colour or like the shape of something and I'll just go with it and I think that's that's from doing it for a, from a year now you, you don't need like an exact sort of stimulus you can pick up bits and combine it together and then you get this weird abstract look and I much prefer that than a direct like a copy of something I've progressed quite a lot because I've put the effort in it's, it's not you know you don't just sit there and Flounce around with makeup, you, you put the effort in and you put the time in to learn like different makeup techniques and all of this and I get I get good feedback as obviously as well as bad, but the good feedback is is really it's so lovely to hear when you've put that time in and I think people like the creativity of the stuff that I do, the strangeness. I know she's good and everybody else says she's good. Every time she actually does something it's amazing, so I do like some gender fuck sort of stuff as well um, with like moustaches. I personally love moustaches and beards on men and women, whatever. Um, trying to maybe just be an idea of gender, not specifically your stereotypical man or woman. Just mixing both genders are beautiful. Like, why can't you have a mixture of both in what you do? Um, so perhaps I'm not focusing on just one gender and being a, a mixture of gender or a genderless one. We wanted to get a better look into Lacey's passion and depth for her job. You know, I like to be seen as someone that being gay isn't my struggle in my life, but it doesn't mean that I can't relate to that struggle and by me working down here as as who I am, it's it says to people, well, you're, I, I am fighting for this, I'm fighting for equality. Lacey stands for equality, obviously. Can't really, she doesn't want people to be pigeonholed. Obviously, drag's mainly a male dominant performance, but obviously, she's changed that. And I think drag just, just makes her, her really now, so it's part of her. We get a lot of uh, members of the transgender community come to the Nightingale, and that's part of our, our role is to sort of look after them and make sure that they 
they know that they're in a safe environment and they they have people there like rooting for them and there to look after them if they need it and just to feel like more comfortable like it's something that pulls my like heartstrings like more like that sort of any that the struggles of the transgender community for me that's something that I take like very seriously and that's a great fulfilling part of my job. She still gets a bit apprehensive when she goes out before she goes and does drugs. My anxiety can be really 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 awful. Many times I've had a panic attack in drag which is the worst thing. You're in layers of layers like a little cake and you can't breathe and you can laugh about it afterwards at the time it's not funny. We spoke to Lacey about what makes the Real Housewives of Birmingham such a unique group of queens. We were picked, picked out a um, out of like a different group of people that they had in mind, and um, we obviously didn't know each other at all when we met, and we hardly actually saw each other to begin with, um, and then we just slowly got to know each other, and we each have sort of evolved into a completely different drag kind of persona. We have different styles to each other, so you can't really compare us as, like to each other. China is, refers, refers to herself as like a, a mud witch, the house witch of Birmingham. She's like gothic and she likes dirt and, you know, but she's still really like, she's really good with makeup, she's really talented. Queenie is, really like bright and colourful and layers upon layers upon layers of skirt. Jack is a just a massive like bundle of inappropriate and fun and he is the most fun like person to go out with. And then I'm the token the token girl um, and I kind of known as like a theme queen or a handmade queen. She stands out from the rest of them because obviously she's a female. It's something very different. She's very creative as well and she's doing something different every single time. If we have a theme or we have a guest, we'll try and sort of do a look that will encompass that night. When Sandy and Sandra from Gobblebox came and they know for their pot noodle, Queenie made a dress of pot noodles. And my favourite of Jack is when he it's actually probably Halloween, yeah, where he did like a cosmetic surgery look that was really cool. He does that really well and he had like a, a mannequin that he'd melted and it was all bloody and he's also done like dildos on his head which was brilliant and Willem loved that, that was amazing. My favourite of China was probably Halloween, she, she makes all her own dresses as well most of the time and she has like a Vivian Westwood sort of style with how she cuts them and puts them together and she had this sheer sort of gown and it was covered in oil sort of slick and stuff and that was really cool. My favourite was Halloween. We stepped it up Halloween, we were, we really like came together and we looked awesome. As you can see, Lacey is a passionate, fun-loving woman, but there are definitely ups and downs of her career. It affects her in both ways, good and bad. Obviously she can be creative, but obviously on the other side, she listens to a lot of people, how she's dressed and stuff, and she gets very uh, protective of what she's doing. Jo is um, very, very supportive. I'm, I don't want to say lucky, because I think everyone should be like that for their partner, but I know that people aren't. He, um, he's really, really supportive. I couldn't ask for anything better. Drop her off, pick her up, get her ready, pick other stuff up from shops. The reason why I'm working so much and everything is to is to, at the end of it, is to create a better life for me and Joe so we have money and that's what I have to keep saying to him when he's upset with me when I'm working too much. It has impacted my relationship with her but obviously we both understand. I mean I work late nights here and she works late nights but we always try and get one day in the week to spend with each other. Unique. Creative. Charismatic. Funny. Passionate. Beautiful. Intelligent. Loving. She's a very strong-minded person. She just likes you, I don't know.